We're at uh, an old location where there was a Spanish uh, fort. Yeah, from the Spanish Inquisition. And, uh, yeah, from the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. From uh, 1600 uh, to the 17th century, yeah. actually. And we're gonna have a look. Uh, yeah, it's not possible to get very close. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we have a good zoom camera. <laughs> so that should work. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going uh, over there I'm now. Walk behind you. Yes, walk behind me. Yes. It's a dangerous road. Yeah. So uh, I will show you this place now. some drone shots you will see them in this video So in the middle of these fields we have some bunkers um, yeah in the first world war and second world war they used them also but they are actually a part of a spanish fort uh, by stallion they had here and uh, these are leftovers you can see it from uh, the drone shots in the sky how it looks like so i have a quick view here for you it's all in the middle of these fields I would love to go closer but there's a, a dangerous bull in this in this uh, field and uh, yeah In 1784 the new house Egris Lock was constructed in Nockheist. This was a double discharge sluice with a round arch opening, built of turnistone stone and bluestone. The lock was protected by the new fort and Jose Gars. The Treaty of Fontainebleau, 1785, brought an end to Austro-Dutch hostilities, which in fact soon made the fort superfluous. In 1794 the fort was used again by the French, when they were preparing to invade, later, Zeeland Flanders. The Jose Grasford got its function and was equipped with a coastal battery, set up to guard the seashore. Napoleon came to visit in 1811. The Belgian Revolution gave rise to a new revival. The fort was occupied by the Dutch, who were expelled by soldiers from Bruges on October 20, 1830. Attempts at recapture by two Dutch gunboats were thwarted, after which the Belgians decided to modernize the fort and it was named Fort Leopold, after King Leopold I of Belgium, who visited the fort in 1834. However, war acts never took place again, and when, in 1839, peace was signed, the fortress had again become obsolete and its stones were sold. During the First World War, the Hasegras terrain acquired a military significance again. Here the German occupiers built a part of the Holland defense line, consisting of a number of bunkers. They were the first bunkers to be constructed of reinforced concrete. During the Second World War, the same location became part of the Atlantic Wall. New bunkers, round artillery positions and man shelter in concrete and brick were added. The Hayesgrass lock from 1784 is still present.
The name Hazagris was first mentioned around 1280. It concerned the salt marshes on the left bank of the Zwin. In 1294 the name Hazagris appears in a document by Count Guy of Dampier and in 1304 on one speaks.